Sir Thomas Allen Assembly Rooms Theatre is at the heart of Durham Student Theatre, where dedicated students come together and put on extraordinary shows from plays, comedy shows and musicals. So come with us behind the scenes on the making of Spring Awakening, presented by Durham University Light Opera Group, also known as Dulog. I'm Maria and this is PAL TV. So the show is about teenage repression in 1890s Germany. It's really fun. It's a rock school that kind of like contrasts like quite stifled setting um, mm. and explores lots of themes that we think are relevant today. So like sexuality, um, abortion and some themes that, yeah, mental health that we're really excited to bring to a Durham stage and kind of showcase for an audience. Yeah, it's a journey of teenagers finding out about their bodies and sexuality and sex itself and it's important in today's society that we to like Spring Awakening. It's also really nice for us to see our creative vision like yeah. on stage coming to life like yeah. it's both one of our favourite musicals so now like seeing it on stage and seeing things you've thought about for like years with like actors who are incredible doing it is really special. Yeah. Our creative visions when we wound up we were applying to direct were quite similar in itself. Yeah. Um, I think one idea that I definitely had was bringing like that motif of a tree into the show. Yeah. And obviously on our the back wall of the stage we have this massive oak tree painted with a child with that is you know decaying, it's rotting and the leaves are falling off, which shows their childhood and their innocence, you know, going away and fading away. But there's this swing on the on the tree, this swing which is just falling apart too. So it's also that their childhood is still there, it's not going to go anytime soon, and that's the kind of motive I want to come through with that tree um, on the back of the stage. And when I said that, we both kind of like, yeah, that yeah. tree is <laughs> getting up and yeah, yeah. and it looks amazing. Yeah, um, Carrie did an amazing such job. Such a good job, and yeah. it's great. For me, I think one of mine was a handheld mic. Definitely. I really wanted to do that. Yeah. We've got quite a lot of songs that use handheld mics, which is quite rare for a musical. Normally it is head mics, and we are still using head mics. Um, but I think that's been really fun to work into choreography and everyone seems to have a lot of fun. Dulog actually stands for Durham University Light Opera Group, um, which lots of people don't know. That's probably like the number one question I get asked because uh, the society was founded about like 80 years ago. like a I think it was about 60 actually, about 60 years ago, so a very long time, um, so it's a bit of a legacy. So uh, essentially what we are is the main um, musical theatre society in Durham and we specialise in uh, large cast productions. Um, so a cast size of about like 14 to 30 depending on like the venue that we're in. The rehearsal process for a production like this is quite a long one. The rehearsal process starts immediately after auditions. We auditioned in about week two, I believe, and then we've had about uh, five, I think it's five to six weeks of rehearsal time uh, with the cast. So um, this is a combination of we'll start by learning all of the music together and then I, as the movement director for Spring Awakening, started by teaching um, all the pieces that I um, have choreographed and then we essentially put it all together. We say, have a lib deadline where everybody has to be off books um, by a certain time, which hopefully should be now. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we put it all together and then we head into the assembly rooms um, to do a tech run, uh, which will be happening next week, where we put everything together with the band, with our wonderful tech team. Um, and yeah, it's one of the most rewarding things is to see everything come together at the end and make sure your efforts were worthwhile. I think that Durham Student Theatre is one of the most valuable things that Durham has to offer. One of the main reasons I think this is because Durham doesn't offer an actual theatre degree or a drama degree, it means that everybody who is doing student theatre here is doing it purely out of passion and like love for theatre and nothing else. Um, so I think that is why, that is what makes it so valuable is that everybody is, who's doing this is putting their own time into this out of contact hours just because we love it.
in our role as producers, we handle quite a few of like the like the bits that are like sort of the backbone for a lot of the artistic bits of the production to run. So whether it's publicity or scheduling or doing um, logistics, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I can't believe Closing Night is here already. Mm. And everyone has worked so incredibly hard and we are so proud of the product that has been put on stage. It's been such an enjoyable process. Um, this is my first time, you know, assistant producing. Um, and I love doing like the marketing aspect, especially. And it's kind of crazy that Closing Night has been here. It's been so enjoyable that it's moved so fast. And now it's over, which is like very surreal. Um, I'm feeling super excited and also very sad that it's over. And all of the emotions are at an all time high right now, but it's been such an amazing experience. So I'm excited to make this show like the best one we've had. Depressed. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Tell me no. a little bit more why are you feel depressed. I don't want it to be over. It's been so much fun. It's been like such a you know unique experience. I don't think there's anything really been anything like this in um, Durham, at least since I've been here. And it's just um, it's felt really special. It's feeling like it's gonna be hard letting it go. Anxious, but like excited, and it'll be bittersweet because like, oh, it's exciting, but yeah, sad. <laughs> yeah, sad. it's always quite sad when a show ends because we put so much work and just emotion into the, the last like month but no I'm I'm going into it mainly just excited really I think it will be a good one like a few of the numbers in this show are just so much fun to like bitch of living and totally far yeah. like big dance numbers with so much energy uh, especially like the way the stage is there's lots of, like jumping around and just really excited to do it one last time the fact that it's a rock score uh, a lot of it which is sort of a genre that before working on this I, I'm not massively familiar with um, so the joy of getting to work with a fantastic band of uh, uh, sort of bass guitar, drums, as well as a really amazing string section as well. It's a kind of really awesome fusion of sort of folk rock. But then also, what are some of the most gorgeous harmonies I have ever encountered on any musical theatre score ever? The, there's so many amazing moments and the cast have nailed every single one of them and it's it's just a, a real joy to get to, it's a joy to get to conduct every night. It was really beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I think they dealt with, uh, there were some very difficult themes in there, and they dealt with them very well. Um, yeah, Every, everyone seemed to really enjoy it as well. Yeah. yeah, it was a fantastic musical. I thought everyone involved did a really, really good job. Like, all of the singing, all of the dancing, all of the acting was super good. It was just like a really well put together production, like, super impressive. So amazing. Like, everyone was so talented. Um, everyone was clearly all rooting for each other, there for each other. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I was really, really impressed by it. Like, I think it was probably one of the best shows I've seen at, like for student theatre at Durham. It's really good. Incredible job, and half the audience, more than half the audience was crying. You really, <laughs> you, re you really, you really, it was astonishing, and you should all be so proud of yourselves for how well you did. It was absolutely brilliant, and every single cast did the justice to the show. Um, it was such a reality show, but in such a nice way that I, I I don't know how the script writer and the director brought this in because it's such a gruesome and taboo thing. But they've well presented it and I was just shocked. And especially the age the kids are playing. Given that, I was like, wow. Getting to know just like the cast, yeah. the creative and the production team, we're so lucky in this musical that we've got loads of new people actually who like we've either not worked with before, who are new to DST, who are new to performing with Judo, so kind of getting to know them and see their growth and performance has been incredible because Definitely. it's such a heavy musical yeah. and they have to do some really hard and quite intense things and seeing the performers kind of grow from either being nervous before or not having like performed on a stage before to now like seeing their performance, it's, it's really beautiful. It's just really great to see them kind of like you remember their first audition when they come and they sing their song and yeah. then we get to this point now where like the show's blocked and we're giving minuscule no notes during our runs and just to see their like character development and how they've worked on it themselves and gone through and really thought about the intention behind their character and what it actually means to play this part and why it's so important uh, which is really great to see i think everyone's also just really enjoyed yeah sure. yeah everyone who was involved with this production should be incredibly proud of themselves it is one of the most amazing musicals i have ever seen and i'm so happy it's like my first main stage musical here so yeah love you guys it's, it's been real <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> no like really i really do i just you know yeah I'm, I'm incapable of being sincere because of who i am as a person but like i am um, but like yeah no it's been great it's been so much fun i've really got, loved getting to know all of you it's been it's, it's been amazing and it's been very special so thanks very much yeah
Yeah, I haven't done a show with uh, like quite a few of the people like as, as cast, um, so it's been really lovely getting to know everyone. And those that I have done it with, of course, it's fun to do more shows with them, but um, yeah, lots of love. I just want to say a big thank you, because <laughs> honestly, you've just been so supportive and so welcoming to me, and I've had the most incredible time. I love you lots, so just thank you for everything. You've been great. If you're interested in getting involved in DST, um, just don't be afraid. Every term, there are so many shows that you can take on um, that will cater to any one of your interests. Um, there are so many roles available, assistant roles, shadow roles if you're completely new. So it's always just an enjoyable process with a fun group of people. So. Just go for it, yeah. Um, just put yourself out there. Like, the people are such darlings. Like, they're so lovely. And once you're in, it's so much fun. And everyone is so welcoming. And like, everyone is just there to have fun. So like, just go for it, you know? You'll find, you'll find your people. It'll be great crack. Um, definitely give it a go. Even if you're feeling a little bit insecure about it or like stressed that you may not have done theater before. It's such a great collaborative experience and truly a way that I feel like students are able to express and like cultivate their creative energy. And everyone is so nice. Like I've made my absolute best friends through DST and I was not even interested in musical theater before coming to Durham. So I know it's like my whole life. So definitely try something new and try it out and see how it works for you.